Representatives of the USDA are traveling across the country to visit producers affected by the drought. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner reports the dry conditions will not only affect farmers and consumers in Indiana, it will have an effect on the entire country. Brittany? Dan, with, within the last hour, there was a little rain around Lafayette and West Lafayette, but for some crops throughout Indiana, it's coming a little too late. The USDA is working to help farmers and producers because the drought can affect every American in a, any way, shape, or form. There are large parts of this field that even if we had a tremendous amount of rain in the next few days, there would be no production. Rain, rain, come today is a wishful jingle most people across the area are probably stuck singing. And farmers may be singing the loudest of them all. However, days and days of rain won't help some corn crops because it's already past the pollination period. Well, the silks then are the things that are going to catch the pollen. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's so hot, those silks get so dry that they will not catch the pollen. And so then the pollen then will not make any kernels on the ear. Wednesday, the USDA Farm and Foreign Agricultural Service Undersecretary spoke with farmers in White County to see how bad the crops were. He says because the crops are in such rough condition, prices at the grocery store will not only be affected, but the drought will impact the American economy as a whole. It's about jobs. One in every 12 jobs in the United States is related to agriculture. Uh, it's about trade. We have a tremendous trade surplus. We did $137 billion worth of trade, agricultural trade last year. The USDA is trying to ease the pain. For livestock producers, it opened up preserved fields for animals to graze. For farmers who are in counties that have been deemed primary disaster areas, like Carroll and Cass, the USDA has programs for emergency loans. Along with these programs, farmers have insurance to fall back on. I would rather not have this situation, but obviously that's why we have insurance. So if something like this does happen, at least we are going to be able to cover our costs. Farmer Robert Smock says there is still hope for some soybean crops. He says pray for any kind of rain in the next few days. Undersecretary Michael Skew says scattered rain showers like the ones we've been having will help some soybean crops, but for a lot of the corn crops, it's just too little too late. Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18.